Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh, it's like 6 a.m. and I've spent the last week and a half looking for Clorox bleach and you know there's there's none anywhere and you can see this is Home Depot they're out I've been checking on Walmart and Safeway and you know I hadn't wanted to go outside anymore and go shopping because there's such a risk with that right now so I had wanted to have delivery and Safeway had bleach and their delivery date was just out too far and they didn't have bleach by the time it was a time for delivery. So the question becomes, you know, do I go out now and look for bleach or if they have it, do I go out now and go get it or do I wait and hope that things get in stock later and you know with the crazy hoarding and uh, just the craziness that we have going on I mean it's a big worry that every time bleach gets in stock that people will buy as much as they can get their hands on you know and I imagine people have a cabinet full of 20 bottles of bleach which they'll never use in their whole lifetime but you know they have it now so this has been a big debate and I think I actually found a store that has has bleach and so I think I think I need to go out and grab it while it's still available let's look at why I'm looking for bleach and Lysol Okay, this is what I'm looking for. This endless of disinfectants to use against SARS-CoV-2. And this is from, this is a list on the epa.gov. Query up coronavirus disinfectants and you will get an awesome list of agents that they think are effective against this. So you can see here, hydrogen peroxide is one of them. We can't use hydrogen peroxide. And this sodium hypochlorite, that's bleach. So awesome, that's what I'm looking for. And sorry, I'm drinking some tea too here as I'm trying to get up for the morning. And you can see that Clorox professional products, this is the TNT version, are listed on here. And the contact time in minutes is listed over here and then they tell you how to formulate so and towelettes you don't have to formulate you don't have to formulate wipes so I'm just scrolling through the pages here you can see Lysol bathroom cleaner Lysol pretty much across the board you you really aren't changing the mixture on that and it's five minutes contact time based on their studies with polio virus. CRB, again, there's 10 minutes on that bleach from Clorox. So I went through this a couple days ago to make sure that I was picking the right products. And Clorox bleach came up. Here you have Lysol disinfecting wipes. I did not know this. 10 minutes on the Lysol disinfecting wipes. I was treating it like it was fairly quick. So let's see here. Looking for Clorox. Here you go. The uh, Clorox disinfecting bleach one and two Clorox Pro Clorox germicidal bleach. This is the stuff you're getting in the grocery stores. Look at that, 10 minutes. You have to leave that on there for 10 minutes. And this germicidal bleach, five. So they say that this was diluted and they tell you based on this information, they did the dilution on this. So what you can do is you can go out to the web again and you can say Clorox disinfecting bleach dilute for fe feline parvovirus and see what the dilution is which is what I did and their dilution is something like it's a little less than two percent so it's two percent bleach and if you looked at my previous videos of how I was using it I was using my dilutions based off of state recommendations and then also based off of 
some information that I received from some military friends on how they keep things safe. So I was using 10, I'm using 10 and 25% uh, mixtures. I'm hoping that is a little bit quicker than the 10 and the five minutes. That's why I'm looking for Clorox bleach and Lysol. And you can see here, even the Lysol brand Power Plus toilet bowl cleaner. It still needs to be on there for 10 minutes. Okay, and you know, that's a good one because they are suggesting that fecal transmission is viable. Okay, let's go to the next next part of this. Okay, good morning. Yeah, it's, it's early in the morning here. And you're probably wondering what we're doing today. Well, here's the deal. As I said, you know, I need to look for disinfectants and that that's kind of pushing me to have to make a decision if I need to go outside into the wild and hunt for these or if I'm going to just wait and hope that at some point in time I'll be able to order these online and have them delivered. What I'm noticing is that we don't really have the infrastructure to support delivery for everybody, nor do we have the infrastructure to support pickup for everybody. So there's going to be times when each and every one of us is going to be forced to go out into the wild and deal with this coronavirus head on. And that brought me back to remembering the videos out of Wuhan in the early part of January where these people were completely panicked that they had to go out to get food and supplies for their family. They were completely panicked that they were gonna bring that virus back into the house. And again, this is addressing that whole fear thing, hopefully by using science and the best information out there, we can put together a plan to make ourselves safer. And like I said in my earlier videos, we all have different skill sets and everybody has great information out there and they're, they have great information that they can share with you to help you keep yourself and your family safer. Now, most of this information comes from my husband who worked with Hazmat in the military and who spent a big chunk of his life in clean fabs. So he has this already these basic protocols on you know, how do you, how do you manage disinfecting and staying s sterile? So this plan is your decon plan and it's your decontamination plan, how to keep yourself safe and your family safe when you return. And hopefully again, by using the best evidence out there, we're going to make some valid decisions that will keep us safer. And you know, here's the other thing. Notice how many times I touch my face. So let's see what this looks like. It's pretty easy. You need your supplies and you're gonna need your process. And so let's first look at what the supplies are that I'm using to keep myself safe and my husband safe if we have to go out in the wild. Okay, the very first part of this is finding a pair of shoes that you are okay not having anymore because these guys are never going to come back inside. They're going to stay outside for the rest of their lives. And this is my pair of tennies that I'm going to use when I go in the wild. We're going to have two sets of clothes. One is what we're going to wear out in the wild and one is what we're going to wear when we get back home. Two sets of clothes. Make sure they're always washable. Don't wear something out there that you need to send to the dry cleaners or that you can't wash. Make sure everything you wear out in the wild is washable. Add to that a bag and I was lucky enough to purchase these uh, grocery bags that are washable. So there's a bag. Okay, the next thing I'm going to look at is the disinfecting supplies that I want. There's the disinfectant wipes, there's the Lysol, and there's my 25% bleach solution that's always at the front door. Okay, I'm going to marry that with a couple pieces of protective, personal, personal protective gear equipment, PPE. I'm going to couple it with gloves and I'm going to couple it with a face mask. 
So the next part is going to be the process. And the first part of that process is keeping a list of everything that you have to do so that you can combine, um, combine things in one outing. So I have one car that I still need to get gas in. I'm going to take that car out with me and I'm going to get gas and then hopefully pick up bleach in that. The next part is you're going to get into your outdoor gear what you're going to wear when you go out into the wild and there's going to be two things that you're going to carry with you so they're going to go with you when you go on your little excursion one is going to be the Lysol and the other one is going to be the disinfecting wipes there's going to be a couple things waiting for you when you get back that's going to be your bag and that's going to be your 25% bleach solution and that's going to be someplace easy to access in your garage or at your front door. Okay so now it's time to go outside and so let's put on our protective equipment. You're going to put on your your face mask, your gloves and you're going to step outside and get your favorite, these are never to return inside again, shoes and put these on make sure you have your Lysol and your wipes with you to put in your car and the other thing I do is I take my payment method and I put it in my pocket so if it's a credit card and I think they might need my driver's license I put those two things in my pocket and so I don't have to take anything else with me okay so now you're going to get ready to start on your excursion and here's where you start with your decontamination plan remember that uh, Lysol takes five minutes it has to be on surfaces for five minutes now that EPA that was all about hard surfaces and it's five minutes on a hard surface either way that's the best we have so I'm going to take this Lysol and when I get ready to leave the house when I'm outside I got my shoes on I'm going to take this Lysol and I'm going to spray myself from head to foot, front and back. And then I'm going to head off to the to whatever store I need to go to because it's going to take me at least 5 minutes to get there, right? So that's going to give this Lysol enough time to start working. And then I'm going to go into the store and Man, I'm going to try practicing safe distancing and everything, but that's not happening here right now, so that's kind of creepy. So I'm going to do the best I can. And I'm going to be paranoid, so by the time I get done with shopping, I'm going to have my bags and everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the car, and I'm actually going to have a huge plastic trash bag to put them all in. How crazy is that? But I'm, I am, I, you know, it's not like I'm buying that much stuff, so I'm going to put it in a huge plastic trash bag that I can shut. I'm going to spray that, the inside of that with Lysol. But being that I was in that store and I'm not quite sure of it, I'm going to spray myself again, head to foot with Lysol. And, you know, another five minutes from, from now, I should be kind of okay. And then I'm going to get in the car and I'm going to do the rest of my errands. And every time I go someplace where I'm super uncomfortable with the, with the safety, when I come out, I'm going to spray myself head to foot with Lysol. And hopefully that helps. Then I'm going to go home. Now I have everything that I need. I'm going to go home. Okay, so now we're home. And how are we going to handle that? Because we want to keep our family safe. And there's, you know, it's just a reverse process of... Uh, decontaminating as you go along so what we're gonna do what I'm gonna do first is I'm home I'm gonna spray myself front to back with Lysol and it takes five minutes for this to work so I've got five minutes because I've got to decontaminate groceries and then I'm also going to take my 25% bleach solution I'm gonna spray those tennis shoes off now I'm ready to start decontaminating groceries and I'm going to decontaminate groceries. I'm going to use the 25% solution for that. And when I'm done decontaminating groceries, we're now at the point where we're ready to go inside. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 25% solution on my gloves again, just because 
I'm psycho like that. And I'm going to remove the shoes. I'm going to take off all my clothes and I'm going to put them in that bag that we've been talking about. And this bag is going to carry those clothes down to the washing machine. When I get them in there, I'm going to spray the handle with a 25% solution again, and I'm going to spray the bag with that. And then now I've got my tennis shoes off. I've got my clothes off. The only thing that I still have is my personal protective gear. And the first one I'm going to take off is a mask. And then I'm going to do practice safe procedures and I'm going to take off the gloves. And the mask and the gloves go in the trash. And then from here, I'm going to go drop this in the washing machine. I'm going to jump into, I'm, I'm actually going to wash my hands next and then I'm going to jump into my home clothes. And then after that, I'll come back out and get the groceries. There it is. That's my con decontamination process for this coronavirus. And I hope you can find something helpful in there as this starts ramping up. It's so it's early in the morning, you guys. You take care. And until next time, I'll catch you on the other side.